Hey guys, um, it's actually been a while since I did my last video. Um, things have been going very slow for me. Um, I have purchased about, I would say, 95% of all the stuff I need for my next project. Um, and yeah, so I've ordered my new toy um, and it ended up getting back ordered by three weeks. Which was kind of crap, but hey. Um, yeah, so it finally arrived today and I'm going to do an unboxing in this video. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to do a test print and continue on with my new project. So, uh, this is, introduce, the 3D printer. My new 3D printer. Um, this is some extra filament that I got for it. Because um, you do get one supplied with the uh, 3D printer. But I figured it's going to take, uh, my project will need more than uh, one tray, one spool of filament. So, let's get to unboxing this. Use your trusty Batman knife. See, the box is almost taller than me. That's sad, I'm sure. Okay. So, this is one spool. Um, I end up getting blue and a cool grey. So, I'm actually going to leave these in the bubble wrap because you need to keep these in a cool area. And my shed is not really the best place for it because in summer, basically plastic melts in there and uh, under the house it gets freezing cold. So, I might just keep this in my room for now. So, put that aside. And this is the grey, as you can see. The stools are actually quite big. fun part. Okay, now we'll just put that aside. Uh, you know what, from the unboxing videos, this box is definitely larger than what I thought. So, here is the big poppet that's uh, on the top. This is actually holds your um, glass tray. So I'll see extruder and also I believe the filament. So let me just just so as you can see it's um, just slides out just as it does. Um, this is the filament that you get with it, as well as the um, cables. Um, this is the smart extruder power cable and underneath all this little paperwork is the field plate which I find really cool. Too bad it doesn't have a bottom. It's going to be difficult putting it back in. So I'll put this camera back and we'll move on. This is a lot bigger than what 
I've seen in other YouTube videos. It's huge. And I got an email again. Every video. because this is where it's actually going to sit. So, what to do? Is the zip tie holding it? Let's try to lift it up. One, and I shall put it over there. finish of it. It's very stylish, I think, the way these edges and everything they put in it. I think it's very stylish. But hey, everyone's different. Lots of foam. We're doing great by protecting it. So, see ya. It's a filament drawer. Clicks in. Now, what most people know from other videos, uh, don't just press this button because uh, when you do it and you just let go, it will fall on itself and just slam. So you gotta, like, slowly push it down. So, it looks pretty cool. I'm very happy with it. Let's get rid of all this plastic. So, oh, perfect for my desk. So, I'll give you guys a bit of a close up since the lighting in my room is quite terrible and it's such a dark model um, so as you can see it's pretty cool wow it is really bad lighting in here I do apologize for that I do have this light though just put it above the camera so maybe if I can poke it through this hole so this is the MakerBot I think it's very stylish. I really like it the way it's designed. Filament tray. I do apologize for the lighting. <laughs> but hey, why not unbox it when it's winter and it's very dark? So, this is the cords and everything. Just get another look at it. But as you can see, it's the Maker Bot. Um, show you the smart extruder. That's one of the key things. I really find really cool because these hang in by magnets. Magnets. That's all. Usually you just have to screw it in or something like that. Sticky adhesive. So there is the smart extruder. This is actually what melts the plastic and comes out there. But honestly, when I was looking at uh, videos of uh, other people unboxing it, it really seemed a really small box, and I thought this was going to take be sort of half the size for some reason. But it's great. It's great. So. is about what 21 inches 21 inches by what 17 and a half I'd say by 16 and a bit 16 and a quarter but honestly I when I was looking at um, videos it looked 
a hell lot smaller for some reason. Maybe because you're watching through a video, it just looks smaller. But when you put a guy who's 5'10 next to this thing, um, it's actually pretty big <laughs> for me. <laughs> I'm really happy I got this, and you know what? Um, with this starts a new project. Um, so I'll be uh, making a Facebook page soon for my new project. Um, just so you know what, if you're interested, you can come um, and see the progress that I'll um, visit with a bit better lighting. Yeah, but uh, what I found awesomely is that those orange pegs that I hold, the build tray is actually 3D printed, which I found quite amazing. Um, so I think. It will serve its purpose, definitely. Here's the smart extruder. Power cords. PLA filament. You actually get five uh, pieces of uh, blue tape. And as well as some let's get you printing. So that's the list of things that you get. But hey, I won't put it together until tomorrow. I'll do it on the GoPro since it's better for lighting and audio as well. So, there's all my filament. Here's the build plate. All the documents. And a zip tie. So, that's it. Um, be sure to check out the next video. I will actually um, be doing something. I'll be putting it together. Sorry, I for some reason couldn't think of the words. Um, yeah, so I will be putting this thing together and getting it all started. I would update the firmware as well on it because um, apparently it had a few bad glitches as with the screen and everything. The screen scrolling is what they call it, and that. So I'll be sure to get all the firmware updated and uh, ready for the test print. Um, tomorrow morning for you guys so be sure to check back if you're interested on how this will be used